Hi, um, welcome to South Georgia Home. We've put out one video of uh, garlic planting and then my husband's gonna put up another one about um, planting potatoes pretty soon. I think I did it a weekend or so ago, the 25th. Um, we've been really busy. This weekend was no different. One of the things that we like here, besides gardening and canning, which we'll get into later, um, is estate sales thrifting. I do have an eBay uh, store. Um, I got started in, I think, collecting Pyrex, and that just kind of led from one thing to another, and I started buying a lot of uh, older stuff. And either it doesn't fit with the house or it just is too much, and you have to get rid of some of it sometime or another, so I thought it's it's really fun to go to estate sales, thrift stores, that kind of thing. And uh, why not resell it and get rid of it when we're done with it or I find stuff. It's like treasure treasure hunting. You find it and you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy that and take it home. And then I'm gonna sell it on, on eBay. Um, that's just one little side thing. We've been doing that for a couple of years. Um, but estate sales is, is Half of the year, I'm usually concentrating on the garden and canning, and then the rest of the year, estate sales. It's just different times of the year. I stay focused on one thing for a little while, and then I'll, I'll switch over to the other thing for a while. Um, right now, uh, it's the beginning of March. Everybody around here tried to have estate sales, yard sales, auctions, subdivision yard sales this weekend. Um, one or two got canceled because they thought it was gonna be bad weather. It was not, it was hot. Um, it didn't rain. It was sunshiny and hot on Saturday. So one of them I know got canceled. Um, but anyway, we went to, or I went to two estate sales on Friday. I don't work on Friday. So I went to two estate sales on Friday. And then my husband and I went to an auction on Saturday. We couldn't stay. Um, we stayed till lunch. I think we left at well, probably closer to one o'clock. Um, we got a text from my nephew about going to a play, going out to dinner and going to a play. And we said, sure. So we had to get home and, and do what we needed to do around the house and, and get ready for that. So we didn't stay at the auction very long. I think I spent what I bought at the auction was about $7 worth. My husband bought, um, two boxes for, because he reloads. Um, he bought two boxes, two wooden boxes for, uh, storing ammunition and, and, reloading equipment. So anyway, I think we paid $32 there. So the first estate sale I went to on Friday, it was professionally run. It, um, they had started it Thursday night. That company, sometimes when they do a Thursday night sale, it's like four to six at night, and then they start on Saturday, and then whatever's left over on Sunday is, is their half price day. Um, they, it was kind of a, uh, already picked over greatly. Um, it was kind of like a make a deal day Friday. Uh, I got a really good deal for what I thought I got. I spent $12 in tax. The second one, uh, it was the first day of that one. And I think the family was conducting it. It was a house in a little older neighborhood. And what I got, I didn't get anything for resale. Um, but I spent about $22 there. Uh, so I don't know if I'm happy with the first one or the second one, you know, with notwithstanding the money, uh, which one you're happier with. Uh, but the first one, it was a nice, uh, subdivision, um, newer. I think they were still building houses in there. Very nice houses. It's a kind where they put the sign up that says, you know, residents only private drives. Um, so I was not really optimistic that I was going to find a lot, um, old stuff, but I did. Um, I guess you can be surprised. But I walked in and this is the second day. I think someone there, one of the estate sale people said, oh yeah, we had a lot of people last night. Um, so it was a lot, oh, it was picked over. Um, but the, I still got a few things. Um, one of the first things when I walked in, it was, a, I don't know if it was an alcove, a laundry room, something. Uh, but they had a box of frames. And the first thing that caught my eye was this. And if you live around here, and you probably have it wherever you are, this is a stump with a basket of flowers on top. Now, we had a lot of that around here after Michael because trees went down, people just cut the tree off and the stump was there for a while before you can get it ground up and hauled away uh, or dug up and hauled away. 
And so a lot of people will just cut down an old tree and just stick something on top of it instead of worrying about getting rid of the, the stump. I'm not quite crazy about the frame, but I do like the little needle point. Anyway, that got me to looking in the basket and there were other frames uh, that I picked up. This one I think is a little older. Uh, it's heavier quality. It's got this nice little detail around it. Um, I have a lot of older black and white pictures my mother gave me and they're kind of an odd shape. So this is a small one. Um, I don't know if it's a three by five. Something like that. Uh, good good shape. And this one is not so old, but it does have a little pretty detailing and matte, uh, a matting thing in it. Uh, but it's got this little detail here. But again, it's not that old, um, but it is pretty with that detail. Uh, this one, I think I have one in there, or I don't know if it's a double frame or if it's a single frame, but it has this copper insert. It's on the outside of the glass. Um, it's a wooden frame, a you know, gold lamade looking wooden frame. Uh, it does have its little ring still and its flapper is good. Um, kickstand. Uh, but I do like it now. I'm not sure about the picture. I'm pretty sure this either came with a frame or they printed something off and put in it. I don't know that it's, I haven't taken it out, so I don't think it's an actual picture photo. Um, but I liked it. I think I have another one that'll match that. And then this one is really old. Uh, you can see on the corner detail, used to be probably a nice shiny brass, um, but the backside has had its better days. Its kickstand had that little uh, lifeline, I guess, to it, and it came apart. So they started hanging it up with this little old string and this round uh, loop. So that one is old. Um, and I think I have some more older ones that I've gotten from family members with this detail in the corner. So those were all together and they didn't have a price on it. They didn't have, you know, any signs that said frame 50 cents. So I just picked up what I had and put it in my bag. I think the next thing I, there was a, a closet, um, between the a bedroom and the master bath, a big walk-in closet, very nice. And they had a basket and there was different linens in it. So I got this doily. It is a rectangular shape. I don't think I have one like this, but it is very nice, um, very clean. She had other ones, but I do have a lot of doilies, the round kind, small ones, big ones. So uh, I just picked this one up, put that in my bag. So the next thing I think, I went out to the, the garage they had. Um, it's funny because I didn't gravitate first to the kitchen like I normally do. Um, I am drawn to uh, vintage cooking stuff. Do we like to eat around here? Uh, anyway, the, out in the garage, they had uh, a table set up with Christmas stuff, Easter stuff, and I found this little guy. And when I went to get a price or when I went to check out, the, the lady was like, oh, I didn't see him. There was another one that, that's chalkware, and there was another one like him, not exactly like him. He had ears sticking up, and he was more yellow, whereas this one is blue and pink. Um, but the other one had a real big chunk out of his foot missing and the other foot looks like it had been repaired badly. Um, but this one is holding a little leg. There's a little, um, stain right there on top of the egg and it is chipped up, uh, not looking its best. I'm sure when they bought it, it didn't look like this, but I thought, you know, for the rustic look around here, he'd fit right in. So I tossed that in the bag. I went to the kitchen, I'd only got one thing, um, but in the kitchen they had a pantry, and of course it didn't have any food left in it, but they had books, um, and these people must have been very religious because they had old Bibles. So I picked up one of them. There was a couple of them in there. One of them, the uh, this part was flapped open. Um, I didn't pick that one up. I looked at it, but I put it back down, especially when I found this one. I don't have one this color. Uh, it's brown, of course. It looks like it's leather bound. Um, very, very flexible, uh, old, well used. It's got its bookmarker in it. Um, you can see the Holy Bible there. It doesn't have a copyright, but it does have, I'm going to see if I can do this. It does have a date it was presented to someone, 1974. Oh, I think I covered the name, I don't know. Uh, and it does have all the information of the family inside of it. Um, 
you know, the mother, the father, when they were married, children, deaths. Uh, but it is one of those Bibles that has this in the middle. Uh, I don't think I own one like this. Um, but anyway, I have a green, a really, really dark green leather bound one. And of course, I have a couple of black ones. Um, I have a really small one that I got at a thrift store when we were on vacation. I think it was free, but we did pay uh, or make a donation, uh, $5. It was a little Gideon's Bible. I think it had a, a, a copyright of 1942. Uh, but anyway, this is the first uh, really worn brown one that I have. And it, it, you can feel the love in this Bible. Someone used it extensively. Um, that was uh, picked up in the kitchen of all places, in the pantry. And then they had this on the table. I was surprised it was still there. So it was the red on the handles. And you can even see the flower still caked into these handles. Um, they, it was used, lovingly used, uh, but it was only uh, $4. And it's a small one. I have oh, my stand here um, with my others, and you can see um, just how small this sucker is. So, not only is it the smallest that I own, it's the first one I own with red or any color on the handles. The rest of them are just all brown. So four dollars. I was shocked to find that one. Uh, and then well, the last thing that I picked up, I carried it around, everything around in this. And I don't know why. I don't need another basket, but I picked it up. Um, I think odd shaped baskets are bigger baskets. Um, you will figure out what to do with it when you get it home. Um, me, if I leave it, then I'm going to get home, and then I'll I'll need it. I said, why didn't I pick up that basket? So. This is a large square basket. It was $6. And you can see just about how big this sucker is. So it's, it's great. Now, I could see if you were going to do like breakfast, if you're going to deliver breakfast, if you were going to deliver food to someone, it would be ideal uh, for that. It was marked at, let's see if we can see it. Um, I don't know if you can see six dollars uh anyway this was the this and the um rolling pin was were the only two things marked they were that would be ten dollars in itself she get uh, she gave me a price of 12 bucks when i started to check out so we've got the bible on top of that we've got the little bunny rabbit we've got the doily and we've got all these frames so if she went by the prices that she saw that was ten dollars and she gave me two bucks for everything else or she just I don't know, went through there and just named off a price. There was a, a table, and I think it was the reason I went to this was because there was a table full of milk glass, hobnail, turns out to be Fenton, hobnail, milk glass, a whole collection of everything. But I saw a swung vase. Didn't get it. I'll just go ahead and give you that spoiler. I didn't get it. Um, anyway, privately run, but they did stick to the time. Usually private, you know, I always like private estate sales more than professionally run because they're not sticklers about the time. If you get there 30 minutes in advance, come on in. Um, but these were not. Um, the other one started at 8. This one started at 9. And it was right down the road, like three, four minutes away. So uh, we had to wait for a minute to get into it. Uh, and then you had to stand in line like everyone else, like all the other estate sales. So... Um, I made the mistake of going into the kitchen first and not into the living room where the table was with all that milk glass. Um, I didn't pick up anything in the kitchen. It was all newer or incomplete or way too overpriced. They did have Pyrex in the Butterfly Gold. They had the gravy boat with the underplate and they had some cups. They had like $25 on the whole set. Mm -mm. Uh, anyway, there was just stuff that I didn't care for. Um, older, little, small appliances, waffle makers, that kind of thing. So when I did make my way around to the table where all the milk glass was, there was a lady. She was a couple of people ahead of me. She had her daughter join her. Her daughter's kid was with her. So she came into the table, apparently, when I got in there. She had gathered whatever she wanted out of that milk glass. Part of it was the swung uh, vase. And other little things, uh, apothecary jar looking things, and gathered them all. And she's like, you stand here with this. I'm going to go get a box. 
So the daughter was standing guard. I looked at some of the other stuff. Uh, they had pitchers, you know, big water pitchers. I don't want to ship that. Um, and then some of the other things were incomplete. They were missing a lid or they were cracked. Uh, just nothing that I really wanted to bother with. So I left that alone, walked on. I think the first thing I picked up was in that room. It was in a box. I have no idea why or what I'm going to do with it. It was $2. It's just a little change purse. Um, it's clean. Uh, I don't think it was ever used. Uh, in good shape. So I don't think it's really old. But it was $2 and I thought 2 bucks. I might, this might be the only thing I pick up. Um, so that was it. I put it in my bag. Walked on to... They had a room that was all primitive stuff. Um, pottery. Some woodwork projects. Uh, the woman did make baskets. Homemade baskets. I heard the daughters telling people. They were out in the garage. They had like 45 and 50 bucks on those homemade baskets. Uh, I couldn't do that. So in the, in the primitive room, I found, I think, the two favorite things that I bought at that sale. And the first thing I picked up was this. It looks like a little spice chest, the older spice chest. It's a four drawer, um, not very wide. The drawers will come out on you really quickly. They are red lined. When I picked it up, as you can see, the price was upside down. Uh, this was the way they had it. And I opened it up and I thought, why do they have the drawers upside down? Never struck me until I got home. And I said, well, I'll flip them all the way they're supposed to be. And I got to one that didn't fit. So I finally figured out they had it upside down. This is the bottom, or this is the top, and this is the bottom. So this is the way it goes. Uh, and they had it upside down and it never, never occurred to me. All the whole time when I was looking at these drawers, I kept wondering why. I liked it. It does have a hanger on the back that is broken and these drawers will come out. They'll kill you. I tried to kill the dog with it the other day. It fell out. Um, but it, it, you can see it's broken. It's uh, not complete. But I don't want to hang it up anyway. Uh, I want to just sit it on my buffet. That'll be good for hiding stuff. So if you have anything that'll fit in those little drawers, it'll be good for hiding stuff if I don't kill them before I get it there. Um, that was on the floor. And then they had a table in the room that said anything on the table was a dollar. Now, I am not a big doll fan. Some people, some people are creeped out by clowns. I think the dolls are creepy, especially the ones with the little eyes that, that flutter. I don't do that. Um, there was a room with toys in it, and I remember commenting to my mother. It was at the first estate sale. There was a room with toys. And they had older dolls that still had their eyes, you know, flipping. And I, I said something to my mother about, um, they creep me out. There was a lady in the room, and she's like, dolls? Yeah. Um, anyway, but at this primitive table, uh, they had other stuff I just didn't care for. Um, but they had this little doll. Now, she doesn't have a face, so there's no flippy eyes. Uh, and it is, look, it looks handmade, homemade. Uh, everything you can take off of it, you can take the bonnet off, you can take it, it has a little apron, you can take that off. Mm -mm. You can, it's got little bloomers under there or pants on, you can take those off. Um, it's just a little cotton doll. And I thought it was just so cute and fit in with, you know, any kind of rustic decor. Uh, no face. It doesn't bend very well, um, but I liked it. It was a dollar, so I picked that up with the spice chest. Everything else I bought came from outside. Um, one thing that I bought is outside now. It was a flag um, rack thing. Um, I have an older one, but the one I bought, I bought years and years and years ago. And it was before they came up with the idea of flags will fly off in a big wind. So some people started coming up with this little rubber stopper thing. This one has it. It was only $5. It was out in the shed. They had several uh, shepherd's hooks. I was looking at those, and I thought that was one at, at, at first. And then I figured out what it was. I took it anyway. Um, I would have loved to get probably some of those taller shepherd's hooks, but I was on my vehicle, not my husband, so I didn't want to... I didn't want to risk, you know, putting down the, the row of back seats and putting it in the, in the back and then spearing my mother if I stopped really quickly and had that sucker, you know, get mom in the back of the head. So we left it. Um, I think that was the only thing that I didn't bring in. 
the next thing I got, got something to go on that hook was uh, this. It's a flag, a yard flag, still in the bag. And they have $4 on it, I think. Yep, $4. It's an American flag, flip-flops. Um, I don't wear flip-flops as much as I used to, but I used to keep what my husband called racing stripes on my feet um, because I always wore them outside, cut grass, garden. Everything was always flip-flops. I always kept a tan on my foot. Um, but I still love them. I still have a few pair. Um, but as you can see, these are, uh, this is canvas or croaker sack or whatever you want to call it, that thick stuff. Now these in the store, depending on what store you go to, I'm sure Walmart probably has them a little cheaper or, or dollar stores maybe. Uh, but if you go to places like Rural King or, or Target Supply, um, they're about 10 to 12 bucks, if not more. Lowe's I think has them for, mm, 10, 12 bucks. Um, but anyway, $4. And I liked it. So that will go nicely on that hook. Uh, this I bought, I think it was outside, and I don't know why, unless they had it out in the garage hanging up. They had a whole rack of, of pots, like terracotta pots and uh, all kinds of fl uh, plastic flower pots, decorative flower pots. Um, and they uh, had this laying on top of those. It is a, is this humidity barometer thermostat or temperature, excuse me, temperature. It was $5. It has its hanger there. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I, I have gotten into YouTube. Um, if you remember, there was a TV show back, I think it was 1969, 1970. It was called The Ghost of Mrs. Muir. And one of their uh, episodes was a complete about uh, the captain's barometer that was hanging in his house. It was a James Gatley barometer. There's only like two in the world or whatever. And it was worth a lot of money. Uh, so that got me thinking and I said, why not have a little barometer? And it is accurate. The thermostat or thermometer is accurate. So um, I don't know, we'll find somewhere for it. It's not that big. It's not as big as the one they had in the, in the episode. Uh, but uh, I liked it and it's in good shape. It's a little dusty or it was a little dusty up here. And I think that was it. This and this and that was outside. And then the doll and the little purse thing and the spice rack. Yep, I think that was it. So, um, the auction, I'm gonna take you around here and show it to you. Uh, my husband and I recently had a, my nephew build us a big, computer. We have a big, because we're old, so we have a big monitor. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you here. This is a, it looks like a vanity. Pay no attention to the jadeite on there because I've collected that. That wasn't at the auction. They probably couldn't afford it at auction. Um, but you can see I like the, uh, the handles even. I like the scroll work on the feet. Pay no attention to the dirt on the floor. And my husband couldn't see it at the time. He's like, oh, that's a vanity. It's not a, uh, it's white on top. It's this hor hor uh, horrible color, the rest of it. So we're wondering if we need to strip that or sand it, but it's got to change. Um, I think I paid $5 for it. No one else bid on it. I bid five bucks and got it. It's in good shape. It is heavy. I'd help him bring it in. Um, house is in a disarray right now. Because of the other purchase that I made, um, was kind of not planned, but um, I wanted it. So, or I've been wanting them for a minute. We were down to four chickens and wanted to replace them. So, uh, stood in line at the Rural King. If you haven't bought chickens lately, more than likely you're going to have to stand in line, get a number if they have what you want. That day, they actually had all the breeds that I wanted to buy. So, let me show you. That's our five. There's one over there in the corner. They're under the heat lamp. Uh, there's our feeder in the water. I think I got the last feeder that they had in the store and the last bag of medicated chick starter. Um, you feed them chick starter up until they start to lay. So we love vinyl stuff, you can see. Um, we are country people. 
So we're either in the garden or canning or estate selling. So this hopefully will go up sometime soon. Um, the potato one will go up, I hope, today, Sunday. Uh, and then I don't know um, what the next one's going to be. Probably planting. I have squash um, that are more than ready to go in the, in the garden. I started the seed a little bit early in my seed starter um, little thing out there. They're huge. And I, re I was nervous about planting them this weekend because it's so early in March. I don't want another frost to come along and kill them. Um, but they are huge plants and they got to go in the garden. So next week, if not, when I get home at, at, during the rest of the week, I have a little bit of time now, days are longer. Uh, I need to start cutting the grass. Um, I might try to plant some when I get home one of these days during the week. I don't like to plant on Sunday, today Sunday. Uh, I'll probably be cleaning out flower beds today. Um, but that might be the next one, I'm not sure. But we'll be back in the garden pretty soon. It is spring. It's one of my favorite times. We're getting we're getting stuff in the garden, getting our groceries planted, and um, then canning will start. I will be probably doing as much as I can in my garden, and then we'll be going to U-Picks as well. Uh, we do like some of the U-Picks. We have local U-Picks. Um, one's about half an hour away. One's about 45, 50 minutes away. Another one's another about an hour away. So, um... We don't rely on just our garden. So that's more of canning. But anyway, um, yeah, estate sales, gardening, canning. That's our life around here. My husband does reloading. We are not self-sufficient completely. Probably never will be. Uh, we have our own chickens, which give us eggs. But, <laughs> uh, you know, that's not cheap. People get into chickens. If you either have to get into chickens because you like them, you like having your own fresh eggs at your back door, or because you intend to make a, a profit off of them, and then you're going to need a lot of chickens to do that. So for us, we just live that. We have chickens out in the back. We get our eggs from them. We have composters. We have a garden. We have some fruit trees coming along. Um, and then we thrift and overhaul uh, from some of the things that we buy that's our life. So thank you for being here and we'll see you again uh, next time.